thanks for clicking on this video uh, so far i have discussed so how to set up the selenium grid then we have written the simple selenium automation script and we have executed on the grid in the today's tutorial i'll be discussing how to perform parallel execution on the selenium grid so simply i'll move on to the eclipse id so this is a script we have created in the previous tutorial and we have executed on the selenium grid so what i'll do simply i'll write a one system dot out dot print ln here in the test one test one started so like this i'll write it at the end also So here I'm writing test one ended. So that's it, guys. So this is a, a test one. So like this, I'll create uh, another test two also. So total will be having uh, three tests. So I'll copy this and I'll paste it down. So this is our test two. And in the system dot out dot print and I'll print ln I'll replace with the test 2 so like this I'll create the test 3 also then I'll update here also the system dot out dot print ln so that's it guys so currently we are having total three tests that is test 1 test 2 and a test three so in high level i'll explain explain this script what it does so we have created the object of desired capabilities so here we are saying what is a browser and what is the operating system this automation script should execute on and then we have created the object of remote web driver to connect to the grid and we have specified the hub url and also the desired capabilities object we have passed on to the remote web driver then we have maximized the browser then we have entered the url then simply i'm printing here the title of the web page then i'm waiting for the two seconds then i'm closing the chrome browser so that's it guys so what i'll do quickly i'll convert this class into the test ng so it will create the one xml file so here I'm replacing this XML file with testng.xml file with the selenium grid parallel. So that's it. I'll click on finish. So here we have created the selenium grid parallel.xml. Simply I'll open this. So at the suit level, I'll specify two properties. First one is parallel equal to methods and I'll specify one more property called thread hyphen count equal to so we are having currently three test cases so I'll specify the three here so all three test cases will execute at the same time so at test level also I'll specify it as a three so that all three test cases will get executed at the same time So that's it guys. So simply I'll execute this testng.xml file. So I'll say run as testng suite. So I'll go to the our grid console. So I'll refresh this. So I'll check the hub is receiving the request or not. And if you see here, so it had already got the three requests and if i go to the grid console i'll refresh this and if you look at here right guys all three are executing in, in the at the same at the same time right so if you refresh this so simply you can see that it is now enabled so our test execution got completed simply i'll go to the console logs see guys all three threads started at the same time 
So I think we have not updated this another system.out.println. So otherwise everything is fine here, right? So all three test cases execution started and it is printing all the uh, title of the web page and then it is finally ending the session for the each of the test cases. So simply I'll go to the this Selenium grid demo class and simply I'll update the so here I'll update this system.out.println so currently we have executed three test cases at the same time so currently still we are having another two browsers are left out so still it is uh, idle only so we'll add another two test cases so like this I'll add a test 4 and the test 5 so this is our test 4 then here I'll enter test 4 then I'll create one more test that is test 5 then we'll execute all 5 test cases at the same time so that's it guys currently we are having 5 test cases inside the selenium grid demo class so I'll go to the xml file so here I'll say thread count as a 5 so that all the 5 test cases will execute at the same time so here also I'll say 5 so that's it guys so simply I'll execute the selenium grid parallel.xml file so run as test ng suit so if you look at my log logs right that is a console all the 5 test cases started at the same time and if I see the this our hub, it should receive all the five requests at the same time. It has received all the logs here. And if you look at the console, all the five Chrome browser instances are disabled. That means the execution is going on on the those instances. So that's it, guys. So let me refresh this page. And now all the browsers are idle now. Simply I'll go to the Eclipse console. So we'll analyze the result. See guys, so it is started all the five threads, that is the five test cases. So it is printing all the title of the web pages. Then finally it is ending all the test cases one by one. First it is ended test four, then test one, test two, and test five, and finally it is ended the test three. And if you look at the total test run. There are five tests, and if you look at the failures, there are zero failures. So that's all about the parallel execution. So from the starting right, we have discussed how to set up the Selenium grid, then how to write a uh, right end, execute the Selenium automation script on the grid. Then finally, finally in the today session, we have discussed how to perform the parallel execution on the selenium grid if you like this tutorial click on like and also comment in the comment section you can share with your friends and colleagues thank you very much for watching this tutorial